All right, y'all, we're back at it again with another reaction video to Invincible. We're going to be doing season two, episode uh, six. <laughs> well, let me double check. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, six. It's not that simple. Right, and uh, we'll, we'll and I'll be talking about that revamp soon as well. But yeah, let's hop straight into it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Here we go. So brave. But is it the brave man who survives? I'm, I know I wasn't tripping about how, like, how the way he sounded because at first he sounded like that. If you know how we go, like he has that weird voice, but like right here, he sounds cold as heck. <laughs> Just do it, you prick. Nah, someone gonna stop him. <laughs> okay, I thought he was gonna be straight. I thought he was gonna be straight. Dang, dang, they really. Wow. Come on, Abraham. This nigga not even worried. There we go. He locked in. That's what I'm talking about. He ain't, he ain't freaking out. No, he got it. He got it. Jesus, bro. You could have been useful, sir. See, he should be doing a Hulk clap like his dad did. <laughs> don't don't kill off. There we go. That's smart. Ugh. Come on. Oh, she's up. Yeah, here we go. They're not even paying attention. Come on, y'all. I'll do it. How dare you? Shut up! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is. Come on, Eve. You're up now. You can use your powers. Yeah, yeah, do another bubble four. Oh lord. And they're still getting in? I swear. They showed two of those little sequoids. What are they called? Get in there. Hell yes, we did it. Did you? We told you we were too powerful. Come on. Let's give it a shot. Bro, the aftermath. Oh, God. And Kate. What? Uh, I was about to say shoot him again, but I don't want him to win. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I would have shot again. What the freak? How is he still... <laughs> One hit, hit it. Oh, he gets no. How's he? Oh, please. Oh, my. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. What the freak? Help him. <laughs> yeah, the nigga is. He might earn that invincible. <laughs> Y'all just gonna let OR now. Now y'all wanna do that? Jeez. Is that what What? She's still alive? How? How you saved us from the sequins? And for that we are great. But we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer. What kind of punishment? Death. I understand. We ain't gonna let it slide. <laughs> yeah. Sailor's last time. Well, Invincible, fly out there and chuck with them niggas. You don't need to breathe. Open the airlock. That's what I'm saying, bro. What you doing? Get out there. He ain't gonna wanna kill. Oh, never mind. How about saying he ain't gonna wanna kill him? But there you go. Wait, can they breathe? Or survive out of space? Those aliens? Okay, yeah, they good. They good. Yeah, because I was like, Invincible, he really does try not to kill people. But okay, cool. Come on. Look at. Look at. You see that? Good work. Yeah. 
Shake his hand. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, you can shake his hand. The GBA has an entire department dedicated to superheroes. No, you don't do good with stuff like this, bro. Because a top secret government lab is the perfect place to raise a child. We paint clouds on the ceiling. After everything Nolan put you through, no one All right, bro. Oh! The truth is, Cecil, this isn't about Nolan or me. This child is Mark's brother, which makes him family to me, too. Debbie. And let me remind you that I raised Mark, who mm -hmm. just saved the world. I'm more than qualified to do this. Such a good woman. Got you a good woman. All right, can I go home? I just want to go home. Nah, run tests on this nigga. They never let me sleep. Oh. An entire box of Q-tips to get all that sequid slime out of my ears. Okay, first of all, I think they should run tests on all of them. Rudy, Eve, and the astronaut dude, because you don't want no type of accidents. Yeah. Oh, so case that. Ah. How the heck is she still alive, bro? And I always thought it would be easy. You know, I always th we always thought about Ant Man, he could just go inside Thanos and grow big, which I still think should work, but I mean, Invincible made it a little bit more hard, I should say. <laughs> We get over there and talk to her. That was a crazy transition, but. Oh, look at that. Good job, Oliver. Oliver. Mark. Oh. Rabra. <laughs> what? You named him after Grandpa? Well, he needed an actual name. Mm -hmm. Besides Nolan's alien baby. Kate Chaw was a fearless warrior that was kate's real power that's from dang her unwavering that's belief tough. that this world is good even when it killed her over and over and over mm. again it's the thing that could have been more than just her it could have been ray could have been um rex as well now i know it's still a possibility ray and them might die we don't know for sure because i mean you remember that old lady that mark saved that or he saved but he was just getting used to his power jacked up her body she got to the hospital and like typically in some shows when they get to the hospital they survive but the old lady didn't you get me so it's a possibility that you know they might not but i'm just saying from what we what we know it's just kate and encouraged me to do the same kate Shaw was a kindred soul yeah when you were smashing it was a it was a beautiful surface yeah i'm glad it didn't rain this nigga better not pull a mustang why do I feel this way, Marcus? Because you loved him, man. Yeah, it's called love, bro. Broken hearts. Hmm. Are they symbolizing something? Or hinting at something? Hmm. Talk! Well, why y'all acting? How's your mom? Oh, Sorry. oh God. Go. Oh, my no, God. No, All right. You go. I mean, I'm at the point where I just roll out of bed and go to lectures in my pajamas. I can't stand people that roll around in pajamas. <laughs> well, how's your new brother? Is he adjusting? Uh, Oliver's doing great, and they really get along, which is awesome. Okay, can I just say this feels like a first date? Yeah, y'all acting weird. Like, what's going on, bro? I missed you. There we go. I missed you, too. I really thought college would be different. Instead, we hang out less than we did before we went to college. It does Whenever seem like that. Whenever my friends here ask where you are, I'm always like, oh, Mark's studying for an exam, or he went home for the weekend. It's our first year of college. She's being real. We're She's being real. On our own, and it yeah. feels like we're missing it. Mm. You know, sometimes I wish I never got powers. Aww. But you do have powers. And that means you have an obligation to make the world a better place. And if you didn't feel I mean, that way, obligated, but <laughs> we wouldn't be dating to begin with. That's cap. What do we do now? That's Cap. I say that's Cap because, I mean, she, before he gained his abilities, you know what I'm saying, she already started to feel for him a little bit, right? Because didn't he, like, try to stand up for her? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what? Mark, look who's back. Whoa, hey. Frank. How are you feeling? He's doing great. Doctors gave him a clean bill of health. Donald says he can come back to Upstate. I'm here to help facilitate his transition. So I need to be come taking on, care of Donald. Wow, Rick looks exactly the same. And yeah. see something did yeah yeah he went through intensive body reconstruction mm. kind of trauma can resurface that's what Donald, he's he's going are through are you okay tell william i'll check in later to see how rick's doing uh no nah, man okay he didn't give you an answer i'm hey, no, no, no 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 bro what's going on talk to me how's ray hold it in there you know 
When that bullet went through my head, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Mm. And I didn't like what I saw. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, just Kate? To, okay, I must say just Kate. woman I've ever dated. <laughs> what is it about being a superhero? We go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time. <sighs> all right, let's hear it. Hear what? The reason your face looks all... Oh, God. Like Man, I don't like this. Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong. When I say I don't like this, I'm not talking about them having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it's nice, especially in Invincible, like how they handle these type of conversations and whatnot. I really enjoy it. And it sometimes is a breath of, you know, fresh air, you know, away from the action. But, man, I don't like when people vent to people in the hospital. <laughs> like, bro, look at him. Look at Rex. He is busted up still. He's still recovering. Don't vent to him in that moment. I wouldn't. Because I, 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 I seen this. I seen this in person. Sad and shit. Don't vent to him. There we go. Mark. Oh, hey. Hey, I haven't seen you since Kate's funeral. Are you okay, Mark? No, um, I'm Bruh. fine. <laughs> no, you're not. Anyway, I, I, I gotta run, so I'll, I'll see you around. Bro, you need to hang out with her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you doing, bro? Eve! I just ran into Mark and... Ugh, I know, right? He and Amber are... Wait, what does that mean? He didn't Did even... Bedroom makeovers? Oh, see, he could have talked to Eve about it. Your resume is very mm. impressive. Yes, but I don't think you're the right fit for us. I'm not comfortable hiring a spy. I was about to say, oh, yeah. that, that's, that's one of Cecil's. I can spot Cecil's people a mile, mile away. So Get up out of here. Hi, I'm April Housem here for the nanny position. Now, before we begin, you should know that Cecil sent me. Now, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer. Uh, um, Please come in. I still wouldn't do it. I still wouldn't do it. She just, no, 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 no. She, I still would not do it. I wouldn't. Because peep this out. Peep game, peep game, peep game. That's like a tactic to lower your defense a little bit. Nah. That's like some Black Widow type stuff. Nah. You, <laughs> I'm good. So you know that Oliver is half Thraxen, half Viltrumite. My philosophy on child rearing is simple. Encourage a child's natural curiosity for the world. Uh, Here you go, buddy. While giving him structure and a safe space to grow and learn. Okay. I don't want a GDA agent in my house running interference for Cecil. That's what I'm saying. No, her. I'm sorry. Only I work for you, Miss Grayson, not Cecil. Period. But you are You're the boss, not him. <laughs> Mama, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't trust it. I don't trust her. Real nice place you made here, Eve. Cecil. This thing always making it. Where I grew up. All right. Duplicate's dead. Ray and Rex are in the hospital, and Immortal is. Oh, let's be frank. His head is not in the game right yeah, now. Yeah, he's mourning. Yeah. Ready to join the team. That's gonna Cecil. be tough. I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be, and that's not the kind of person you need on the Guardians. Mm hmm Thanks for your time, Eve. I'll leave you to your guest now. Good. Wait, guest. What guest? Amber. What's she doing? Amber. Yeah. Can we talk? See, oh, okay, never mind. Hey, Art. Oh, Mark, I actually came to talk. Everybody want to talk now, busy, okay? Can... What's on you? Yeah, well, come on, man. Let's talk. Let's talk. Um, girl trouble. Mm. That obvious, huh? Mm -hmm. It's all over your face, kid. I love Amber and I want to be with her, but. But. It, it feels like the universe is conspiring against us. I've only dated one guy. Rex was my they first. They need to talk to me. Friend which is sad <laughs> and embarrassing to admit out loud. Mm. Mark puts himself on the line for people he doesn't even know, and that takes real guts to not care what anyone else thinks. Mm. Never always does the right thing. It's inspiring. Yeah, as of right now, she, she is doing things right. So what's, what's the, the problem? problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm invincible. Mark has to drop everything and go. Yeah. Even her. Everything, mm -hmm. including you. I'm doing exactly to her what my dad did to me and my mom. We never okay. complained because A, okay. it made us feel like assholes, and B, we didn't want to distract dad from saving the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want that kind of life for Amber. You guys can't always be together, then make the times you are together count. Like I'm taking him away from people who really need, need him. help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. Need someone who is there for her. Who really I really like those little transitions. I feel like I'm failing Amber. See, this is where communication is key. Communication is key. That's all I'm gonna say for right now. Mm -hmm. And Mark's back on Earth, so mm -hmm. why, are why are you here talking, talking to me when you- It should be talked! Thank you! And be with your Duh! Friend. Communication! Hey, your mom told me what happened with your 
dad on tracks. So. And then the last thing he told me before the Viltrumites took him away was read my book. Go get his books. He wrote more than just travel books. What? He wrote sci-fi novels under Let's a go. pen name when you were a kid. Let's None go. None of them sold right, so he gave it up. Lost inside the chasm to oblivion. I remember. Yep. 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 I told yep. Nolan they were great. I... Oh, this is where he it. saw himself. It uh commemorates D. A. Sinclair's. Uh, no, no, it's him. It was somebody else. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. It was that other guy. I see flashes sometimes. Oh man, Sinclair's face, a scalpel. Oh, oh. but it's like I'm watching someone else's nightmare. D. A. Sinclair took so much of me away. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a him. long time. Who am I if I can't even remember what I'm missing? We'll get through this together it's gonna take some time bro the man with the invincible gun Get your title check down. that one out yeah, yeah, yeah the infinity ray it was said to emit an energy wave that destroyed anything in its path Ooh. nigga did he just destroy his son infinity ray is in or a star and as uh, tomato model <laughs> claim, maybe there's an actual gun like that out there savage planet savage beast that looks just like that is invincible the planet was so dense and its pull so strong we could barely move mm. nah, 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 nah. this is this is real this is real this is real planets. just like oh Ragnars. Wait, i think this is real i've battled creatures 10 times their size but because of the gravity on this planet, Ragnars had evolved strength like no other. Mm. I had grossly okay. underestimated these creatures, and I feared this place would be my grave. This is like his actual journeys and stuff. You know what I'm what saying? He just want, wrote it down. Cecil? You and a long overdue vacation on the house. Mm. No. Yes. I wasn't asking. How dare you? Sykes so concerned. Out. Kate's death was difficult for everyone. But I need you. I said I'm fine. Lower your goddamn tone, nigga. We we can talk. <laughs> Let's be adults here. I know you. I know you. Know what I'm saying you're going through a lot. But all that yelling. You know what I'm saying you got to knock that down a couple notches. What is that? Someone's coming in hot from deep space. How many? I, <laughs> I knew it. I swear to God, I was gonna say the thing. Gonna say Omni mean, Man. God, he is. He got too much trauma. I bet you that's not Omni Man. That's not Omni Man. Nigga. Bro, oh, you are. It's just this he is crazy, bro. Omni Man really gave him a lot of trauma. I am not here to fight. Omni Man sent you. Bro, what is wrong with you? You, yeah, he, he needs that vacation. He needs that vacation. And first off, you see how Alan is effortlessly like just like, hey, bro, chill out. What you doing, man? I do not want to hurt you, sir. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. Yes. my friend. He's a good guy. Oh. Uh, hi, sir. Mark says I'm a pal. Also, he says he hates your dumb beard because it's missing all the best parts of a beard. <laughs> this thing is still out. Still out. I don't believe you. Did Alan attack you or threaten you? Mark wants to know if I attacked you. Not very <laughs> Look how Earth. big that boy is. Earth. I, mm -hmm. I thought you were someone else. Go home. Take a vacation. Now that guy's problem. His girlfriend just died. Well, now I feel like a giant douchebag. <laughs> nah. Him, right? Uh, okay. At a dorm party. I'm assuming Amber's there. She's not even enjoying her time there. Y'all need to talk. Just send it. She could have just... Right. Uh, we should be... Good now. You know, on my planet, sock on the door means. <laughs> God. These yeah, it's the same here. Get off the bed, nigga. Oh. Get this. My boss, Thetis, is also a Viltrumite. What? I know, mm -hmm. right? It turns out he rebelled against the Empire like years ago. We can only win over your dad. Yeah, uh, about mm -hmm. my dad. Let him know. That is quite the story. Oh my god. It would be crazy if Amber like went over there and with the sock on the door. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Do you think my dad's dead? I don't know. Filtramites are weird about killing their own people. I think because it 
doesn't happen much anymore. On behalf of Thetis and the Coalition of Planets, I am to escort you to Telescria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire. Uh, this is going to affect how the whole thing is going on with him and Amber. He has to leave again. How you uh, can help. What? No. I, I just got back from space. Twice. This could be our chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Isn't that what you want? Of course. Amber and I are in a weird place. And hey, y'all talk. I'm looking after my half brother, I can't just ditch her. Let's talk. I should get going. Fatus will not be happy with me. Maybe I can help with that. I have a hunch about something, but I need a second opinion. It's hey. real. Is that Space Racer? Space Rider in the book. It's Space Racer in real life, and he is. Yeah, see? In that it's that invincible racer. gun, then. Okay, so I think. Everything in these books is just slightly different. It's all stuff that can hurt Viltrumite. Can I, uh, can I scan these to take back to the coalition? Of course. Yeah. That's freaking dope. All right. Got it. Good seeing you again, Mark. Thank you. And I'm very sorry about your father's impending or already completed execution. Heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. I mean, ask around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That. In order for a Viltrumite to be executed, he must be healed and whole, worthy to stand and face the end of his life with honor. Oh, he gets some push ups there. He sounds like um, Rejoin Mr. Krabs. Own. Let this not be your legacy. Like Clancy Brown. You were one of our greatest warriors. Mm -hmm. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Oh God! So they're trying to win him back over. Who are them niggas? They look like they got a, they got hands. They too. Hey, come on, bro. Oh shoot, man. It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place too. Dang. And he buying all that food too. He must have bought it in his name. Come on, bro. Nigga. Nigga. He threw up a sequoid. How did they not find that? You would expect them to be like extra, extra thorough with making sure none of those sequoids or whatever are still alive or even inside of the dude. I don't comprehend it. They should have scanned for that crap. And knowing them, they probably would not even send him home. They probably would have killed him just to play it safe or never have brought him home. Let me help you with the jacket. Mm -hmm. mm, an excellent fit, if I do say so myself. Ugh. I'm visiting an old friend. <laughs> Bro. Why is he going through multiple? Just go directly to where you gotta go. He doing too much. Nobody's freaked out by the way he looked. Uh, it is good to be home. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, a, a, a decent amount of stuff happened. Rex is still a freaking alive, which is crazy to me. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna lie. He had a dope moment, and I, I would really love for them to at least give him some type of special like how they did with Adam Eve. And it's funny I say that because, like, as y'all know, I honestly disliked Rex a whole lot, but... I feel like at this point in time, he genuinely deserves a special. It'll be cool if they can like fit it in, you know what I'm saying? When like during the, between, you know, season, this season two and season three. Dude, like, <laughs> I, I did not expect Ray to be alive. If I'm to be real with y'all, I thought it would, it would have been more like this. If someone were to survive out of, you know, Kate or Ray, it would be Kate. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, not trying to sound like that, but Kate's character to me is more important than Ray. Now, I don't know if they have any plans with Ray after this, or she's just going to die or retire or like, you know, not want to be, I don't know. We, we just got to see. One thing I thought was cool too with Mark, Eve, Art, and, uh, and Amber, you know, how they were talking and they was doing like those little cutaways and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. But the same thing they said is what I was thinking. Y'all should be talking it out. Them two should be talking it out. They should be talking to their partner about it, not other people. And I'm kind of confused because it seemed like they didn't talk it out, which I'm like, bro, what are y'all doing? Like, <laughs> well, you're making things more difficult than what it is. Like, even when they were at that restaurant acting all awkward, yo, voice your concerns more fully. That's the only way things can work out. You can go talk to your friends about it and all that, but at the end of the day, you're not talking to your mate. And I believe both of them have valid concerns, right? They have valid concerns. And Amber, she's not being a douchebag, being super annoying as like before. She's, she's being real about her feelings and all that. And so is Mark. And can I say this too about Debbie? Oh my God, that's such a good woman. <laughs> I can't get over it. Like she, 
Oliver is her child in a sense. You give me like that's her child because so far she's she's putting in all the work that a mother would do, just slightly shorten like <laughs> since you know the baby or grows faster. Overall, really good episode. I really enjoyed that most, even though most of it was mainly them talking to each other in this episode. I enjoyed it. You feel me? Again, like I said, it was a nice breath of you know fresh air seeing these characters speak their minds and all that. I thought that was really cool. So um and and I love how they're building up to this. You know this overall big arching war between the whole Viltrumites and all that so i'm looking forward to this next set